Hi everyone, so here we're seeing a patient where we've got missing lateral incisor and this canine has been brought forward to mimic um, a lateral. So what we see here, midlines are almost coincident. We've got a reasonable buccal occlusion, so we mesialize the entire side. So obviously we were running a class 3 elastic on this side to help push the upper teeth over. And on this side, we've got a class 2 molar relationship, but class 1 canine. So basically, just open a bit for me. What we see, there's still a little bit of a derotation that is required in the low incisor region. And today we're getting to those final stages where we're going to reshape the canine to mimic the lateral. So the first thing I'll be doing is actually changing the occlusal uh, anatomy from a cuspal tip to a flatter. So I use a coarse diamond for that. You can use a soft flex disc, tungsten carbide. What we also want to do is do lingual root torque. Because if you look at a lateral, often the root is a little bit lingual. So lingual root torque, we don't want the root to buckle on a canine, so it mimics the lateral. And a lot of times, this canine, we might do a bit of crown lengthening. So let's get started. So what I'm doing now is getting the labial surface to have less convexity so it starts to mimic a lateral incisor. And I'm going right at where it's the most convex. You want to be careful that you're within enamel. Use a tungsten carbide to finish off. Now guys, I'm going to use a soft flex disc to do the finer polishing.
what you're seeing here now is we've got starting to create a similar anatomy to that lateral incisor. We would also just reshape that slightly. However, it is still a very convex and a yellow canine. So what we're going to do is also start some whitening, early whitening, just as the patient's finishing. So we're going to be adding whitening gel just on that too, starting to lift the color as we finish. Um, and eventually a restorative, because this is still quite a bulky, curvy tooth, a restorative dentist can go build us a nice marginal edge with the exact contours of the two. Um, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. Thank you for watching.